Good morning. Yesterday we started with the new topic, pair of lines. Let us uh, revise the first part. The joint equation of pair of two lines, u equal to zero and v equal to zero is given by u v equal to zero. So this locus represents these two lines jointly. Now in this topic, there are two parts. In the first part, we discuss lines, two lines, pair of lines rather, through origin. And in the second part, we consider any two lines. Now, the joint equation of pair of lines through origin is a second degree homogeneous equation of which type ax square plus twice hxy plus by square equal to zero. What do you mean by homogeneous? Note that sum of the indices of x and y in each term is two. So this is homogeneous. And what is the degree of homogeneity? Two. Now, this equation will not represent pair of lines in all the cases. For example, if I consider x square plus y square equal to zero, is it uh, second degree homogeneous? Yes, it is. Does this equation represent pair of lines? No, it doesn't. So what is the condition for this equation to represent pair of lines? The condition is h square minus ab should be greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now, the most important part is from this equation, from this equation, we write bm square plus twice hm plus a equal to zero. So you should be able to write this directly and can be done easily actually. Note that y square is to be replaced by m square. xy is to be replaced by m and just consider coefficient of x square. Now I have already explained the reason. Divide throughout by x square. So that gives me what? b into y by x square as we are considering lines through origin they are of the type y equal to mx so if you rearrange in the terms what is y upon x m and that is why it is b m square we have divided by uh, x square so 2h y by x but y by x is m that is why 2h m as we have divided by x square it is just a this equation is very, very important. This is called as an auxiliary equation. The roots m1, m2, the roots m1, m2 of this quadratic equation are the slopes of two lines given by this equation, joint equation, okay? Now use theory of quadratics. So can you tell me what is sum of the roots? See, just by observing equation, we may not get the actual roots, but we can find their sum and their product just by observation. So what is M1 plus M2? It is minus 2H upon B. You have to treat these as standard results. And what is M1, M2? It is A upon B. So these two results are very important. Okay. I think uh, we have already started solving sum from exercise 4.1, right? First question is over. Now we'll be solving second question. Second, find the separate equations of the lines represented by the following equations. First one, 3y square plus 7xy equal to zero. Uh, this is simple, but take y common to get in bracket 3y plus 7x equal to zero. So either y equal to zero or seven X plus three y equal to zero. So these are the separate equations. Second, what is the given equation? Phi X square minus nine Y square equal to zero. Now Phi X square is square of what? Root Phi into X. Please do not include X in the radical sign. It is root Phi into X square minus square of three y equal to zero. What are the factors of a square minus b square? a minus b, a plus b, right? So the separate equations are 
root 5x minus 3y equal to 0 and root 5x plus 3y equal to 0. Fifth one, the given equation is 3x square minus 2 root 3xy minus 3y square equal to 0. See, you have to split middle terms into two parts so that their sum is middle term and the product, consider product of coefficients minus 3 root 3 into root 3 is minus 9. Yes, 3 into minus 3 is minus 9. Now from the first two terms, you can take 3x common to get in bracket x minus root 3 y. From remaining two terms, take root 3 y common to get in bracket x. See, basically this 3 is root 3 into root 3. So when root 3 y is taken common, you get root 3 y minus root 3 y in the bracket. So what are the separate equations there? x minus root 3 y equal to 0 and 3x plus root 3 y equal to 0. In the second equation, actually you can divide throughout by root 3. Uh, one student says that are these lines perpendicular to each other? Yes, they are. We are going to discuss that criterion in the next part. Uh, now sixth is important. What is the equation? x square plus 2 cosec alpha xy plus y square equal to 0. See here I obtain auxiliary equation. There are many students, they do not know how to obtain auxiliary equation even if the topic is over. See this is important. Just by observing the joint equation, you should be able to obtain auxiliary equation. I have already explained this at least three to four times. See, replace y square by m square, replace xy by m and just consider coefficient of x square. And what is the reason for that? Logic is simple, divide both the sides. I'm explaining this for the last time. Divide both the sides by x square, y square upon x square, y upon x is m. Why? Because line through origin is y equal to mx. So y upon x is m. So m square plus 2 cosec alpha y by x. y by x is m. And when you divide x square by x square, that is y. Now, how to obtain roots of quadratic equation? You should know the formula minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Use that. Simplify this. So this is minus 2 cosec alpha plus minus. Here I can take 4 common to get cosec square, al cosec square alpha minus 1. Now it is cosec square alpha minus 1 cot square alpha. So this is simply 4 cot square alpha. Okay. Denominator as it is. So in the next step, it is minus 2 cosec alpha plus minus 2 cot alpha divided by 2. I hope you are getting this. And therefore, and therefore, it is minus cosec alpha. See here, two roots are combined plus minus cot alpha. So what are the lines? Y equal to or before that the individual slopes are what? Minus cosec alpha plus cot alpha say M1 and minus cosec alpha minus cot alpha is M2. Both lines pass through origin. So their equations are Y equal to M1x and Y equal to M2x. Now you can write this answer as the final answer or see what I have done. Bring this term to LHS. That is why instead of cot minus cosec, I have written cosec minus cot alpha into x plus y equal to 0. Take this term to LHS. So it is cosec alpha plus cot alpha into x plus y equal to 0. So these three sums uh, are for homework. Third, fourth and seventh, these are the answers. Third question, uh, we'll be doing first and third sums, second and fourth for homework. Find the combined equation of pair of lines passing through the origin and perpendicular to the lines represented by the following equations. First one, 5x square minus 8xy plus 3y square equal to 0. Here you will notice 
that separate equations of the lines can be obtained easily. If we cannot find separate equations easily, then there is another method. I'll explain that also. But here, what are the separate equations? Factorize. Separate equations are x minus y equal to 0 and 5x minus 3y equal to 0. Can you tell me uh, slopes of these lines? They are 1 and 5 by 3. Now, slopes of required lines, which are perpendicular to the given lines, will be what? Minus 1 upon 1. Why uh, to say minus 1 upon 1? Because product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is minus 1. So, if m1, m2 is minus 1, what is m2? Minus 1 upon m1. That is why minus 1 upon 1. Similarly, minus 1 upon 5 by 3. So, slopes of required lines are minus 1 and minus 3 by 5. Now, these lines pass through origin. So, their equations are always y equal to mx type. So, y equal to minus x and y equal to minus 3x by 5. That is x plus y equal to 0 and 3x plus 5y equal to 0. But we are asked to find joint equation. So, combine them x plus y into 3x plus 5y equal to 0. Just a minute. See, this is an interesting observation. Uh, in fact, this is shortcut method for CET. This is obtained equation, new equation. And what is the given equation? 5x square minus 8xy plus 3y square. So what is the observation here? See, coefficient of x square and y square are interchange. In the given equation, coefficient of x square was 5 and that of y square 3. Now here, coefficient of x square is 3 and that of y square is 5. And one more important thing, coefficient of xy changes in sign only. In the given, it was minus 8, now it is plus 8. Right? Now this is the observation which we are going to write as note. If possible, write this in exam also. Coefficient of x square and y square are interchange and coefficient of x, y changes in sign. Now, uh, in the third sum, uh, you can use the method used in the first sum, that is obtain separate equations and so on. But here we will discuss second method. Of course, in exam, you can use any method. You will get marks for both. Right down. The given equation is, the given equation is, x y plus y square equal to zero. Right down. I'm going to dictate the solution. The given equation is x y plus y square equal to zero. Auxiliary equation is auxiliary equation is yes. Tell me what will be the auxiliary equation? M square plus m equal to 0, m square plus m equal to 0. So you don't find actual roots because we are using second method, m square plus m equal to 0. Therefore, m1 plus m2, we are not interested in individual roots in the second method. m1 plus m2 equal to minus 1 and m1 m2 equal to 0. I hope you are getting this. See what is sum of the roots? Negative coefficient of m upon coefficient of m square. See this is required. And this has nothing to do with uh, 11th or 12th standard syllabus. You must have done this in 10th standard only. So that is required. That is the main thing. And what is product of roots constant term, which is 0 upon coefficient of m square, which is 1. 0 upon 1 equal to 0. Write down this m1 plus m2 minus 1, m1 m2 equal to 0. Where m1 m2, where m1 m2, are the slopes 
of given lines right now where m1 comma m2 are the slopes of given lines full stop therefore slopes of required lines slopes of required lines perpendicular to given lines therefore slopes of required lines perpendicular to given lines will be will be minus 1 upon m1 and minus 1 upon m2 minus 1 upon m1 and minus 1 upon m2 as required lines pass through origin as required lines pass through origin as required lines pass through origin their equations are or their equations will be what will be their equations right now their equations will be y equal to minus 1 upon m1x and y equal to minus 1 upon m2x that is x plus m1y equal to 0 and x plus m2y equal to 0 right now so what is joint equation x plus m1y into x plus m2y equal to 0 open all the brackets So it will be x square plus m1 plus m2 xy plus m1 m2 y square equal to 0. I hope you are getting this method. See here, we, are, we haven't obtained individual values of m1 and m2, but we have obtained sum and product. Now we know that m1 plus m2 is what? What is m1 plus m2? Minus 1. And what is m1 m2? 0. So what is the equation? Required equation is x square minus xy plus 0 y square equal to 0. That is x square minus xy equal to 0. Uh, see whether coefficient of x square and y square are interchange or not. Yes, they are. See whether coefficient of x, y changes in sign. Yes, it does. So this is the required answer. Now you will ask me which method is to be used. The logic is simple. If factors that is separate equations can be obtained easily as in this case and in the previous case also, I will suggest that go for first method. But in some cases, factors cannot find easily. Factors cannot be obtained easily. So in that case, you should go for second method. Fourth question, find K if first part, the sum of the slopes of the lines represented by x square plus kxy minus 3y square equal to 0 is twice their product. See, what is the given equation? x square plus kxy minus 3y square equal to 0. What will be the auxiliary equation? Replace y square by m square. So minus 3m square. Replace xy by m. So plus km. Just consider coefficient of x square, which is 1 equal to 0 here. So what is m1 plus m2? Sum of the roots is negative coefficient of m upon coefficient of m square. Product m1, m2 is constant upon coefficient of m square. Where m1, m2 are what? They are the slopes of the given lines.
actually uh, second for homework i have given the hint see slopes differ by 4 means what mod of m1 minus m2 is 4 why mod because we do not know which is greater so mod of m1 minus m2 is 4 see we always get m1 plus m2 and m1 m2 so can we express unknown in terms of knowns yes we can Though we require m1 minus m2, we find its square. What is m1 minus m2 square? It is m1 plus m2 square minus 4 m1 m2. This is known, this is known. So we can obtain this, right? Actually, third sum is similar. Third one, find k if slope of one of the lines given by kx square plus 4xy minus y square equal to 0 exceeds the slope of the other by 8. So I have directly written auxiliary equation of given joint equation is immediately right m1 plus m2 m1 m2 where m1 m2 are the slopes of the lines. After that it is better if you say we are given that slope of one of the lines exceeds slope of the other by 8 means what the difference between their slopes is 8. Now, which is greater, we do not know. That is why I have written, we are given mod of m1 minus m2 equal to 8. I repeat this. See, if slope of one line is m, slope of the other is m plus 8. That is the difference between their slopes is 8. Now, this is unknown m1 minus m2 or unknown, I, I mean, uh, m1 minus m2 is not expressed in terms of m1 plus m2, m1, m2 yet. Unknown is basically k. So can I make uh, use of this? See what is m1 minus m2 square? It is m1 plus m2 square minus 4 m1 m2. Just substitute the values. Therefore, I can say 8 square equal to 4 square minus 4 into minus k. Now solve this equation for k. Therefore, 64 minus 16 equal to 4k. So 4k is 48. So what is the value of k? k is nothing but 12. Right. Fifth question, find the condition that first part, the line 4x plus 5y equal to 1 coincides with one of the lines given by a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to zero. Now I have directly written auxiliary equation. What is the slope of given line four x plus five y equal to zero minus four by five. Now it is given that this line four x plus five y equal to zero coincides with one of the lines given by this joint equation. So minus four by five must be the root of this quadratic equation in M where M is the slope. Now, if it is a root, it will satisfy the equation. Therefore, I will say B M square that is minus 4 by 5 square plus twice H into minus 4 by 5 plus A equal to 0. Now simplify this. So 16 B upon 25 minus 8 H upon 5 plus A equal to 0. So what is the condition? 25 A, we multiply throughout by 25 plus 16 B minus 40 h equal to 0 or I can say equal to 40 h. Now many students do not understand the meaning of find the condition. See what is the required thing? The required thing is 4x plus 5y equal to 0 should be one of the lines. So there must be restriction constraints on the values of a h and b. So by finding condition means relation to be satisfied by A, H and B so that 4x plus 5y equal to 0 is one of the lines. 
so you can say put uh, a equal to one b equal to say one again so in that case h has to be 41 by 40 then only then only 4x plus 5y equal to 0 will be one of the lines i hope you are getting this so finding the condition means to find relation between a h and b so if that relation is satisfied 4x plus 5y equal to 0 will be one of the lines second find the condition that line 3x plus y equal to 0 may be perpendicular to one of the lines given by a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to 0 again same logic what is the auxiliary equation b m square plus 2 h m plus a equal to 0 slope of line 3x plus y equal to 0 is negative coefficient of x upon coefficient of y so minus 3 or you may say 3x plus y equal to 0. So y equal to minus 3x compared with y equal to mx, m is slope, so minus 3. Now slope of line perpendicular to this line will be what? Negative reciprocal, that is 1 by 3. Now this is root of auxiliary equation. Why? Because it is given that required line or this equation represents two lines. One of the lines is perpendicular to this line. So slope of that line has to be 1 by 3. So put m equal to 1 by 3 in equation 1. We are in the terms. So what is the required condition? 9a plus b plus 6h equal to 0. I repeat, to find the condition means to find relation between a, h and b that when it is satisfied, when it is satisfied, the line 3x plus y equal to 0 may be perpendicular to one of the lines. That is, if you say that I want value of A as 1 and that of B as minus 1. So in that case, B has to be minus 3. Then only condition is satisfied. Actually, uh, sixth one is similar, but still I have written the solution in short. Same logic. This is the auxiliary equation. Slope of line Px plus Qy equal to 0 is minus P by Q. So what is the slope of line perpendicular to this q by phi, uh, q by p. Now this is root of equation one. So equation is satisfied. Yes, this is the required condition. Now seventh is important. Find the combined equation of pair of lines through the origin and making an equilateral triangle with the line y equal to 3. See, uh, I will not uh, write this, but you have to write this in exam. You have to begin with, see, let OA and OB be the lines through the origin, making an angle of 60 degrees with the line y equal to 3. See, you should know that y equal to 3 is a line which is parallel to x-axis and above x-axis. Okay. Now, see, this is 60. Now this is angle bisector also, basically to get the equation of two lines through origin, we must know their slopes. And for slopes, we should know their inclinations. Now what will be the inclination of line L1? 60 degree. And what will be the inclination of line uh, L2 that is line OB? This is 90, this is 30. So 120 degrees. So slope of the first line OA, see I'm going to write this, just listen to me. Slope of the first line OA is tan 60 degrees, which is root 3. And what will be the slope of line OB? Tan 120 degrees. You should be able to obtain this immediately. 120 is 180 minus 60, trigo ratio of allied angle. So minus tan 60, that is minus root 3 and so on. So just draw this. See, uh, you have to write this, let lines O A and O B form an equilateral triangle with Y equal to 3. So their inclinations are 60 degrees and 120 degrees respectively. So what are their slopes? Tan 60 degrees, that is root 3 and slope of line O B, tan 120 degrees. Do not write minus root 3 directly. Write 120 as 180 minus 60. Tan of 180 minus theta is minus tan theta. 
So minus tan 60 degrees and that is by minus root 3. Now both O and OB pass through origin. So what are their equations? Y equal to root 3x and Y equal to minus root 3x. That is root 3x minus y equal to 0 and uh, root 3x plus y equal to 0. So what is the joint equation? root 3x minus y into root 3x plus y equal to 0. That is 3x square minus y square equal to 0. So that's it for today.